There's two things I want to talk about. Number one, I was cleaning up my room a little bit and I found these samples from Maison Crivelli. These have to be at least four or five years old. I think they're from 2018, 2019. I know I got them in London, but I completely forgot I had them and I hadn't smelled them until I found them yesterday. I really want to talk about Fleur Diamantine because I love it. If you like white florals that smell clean and crisp, green, this one is so beautiful. There's a lot of jasmine in here. There's a lot of green, there's freshness. I love jasmine fragrances. I love clean floral fragrances. And this is like, I I love it. If I have to compare it to other fragrances I have, I'm gonna say Byrito Flowerhead and Byrito La Tulipe. These are both very floral, green, clean, fresh kind of fragrances. Fleur Diamantine is definitely in the same category as them. When I smelled it last night, it immediately went on my wish list, and I can picture this being so beautiful in the spring. You have to like green, white florals to like this one, especially jasmine. If you've tried Amafolia, you'll know that this one is a very strong green tuberose fragrance in the opening. I would say that Fleur Diamantine is not as green as this, and it's definitely more jasmine forward. I was looking for it online, and I noticed that Lucky Scent has the full bottles on sale for a pretty good price. I might just get it. But if you don't want to get a full bottle, they do have samples also, and you can use my code CARLA10 to save on Lucky Scent. I recently did a video on fresh, clean florals, and I 1000% would have included this had I smelled it. I actually haven't heard anyone talk about Fleur Diamantine, so when I smelled it last night and realized I loved it, I thought, let me just come on here and share it. The next one is Citrus Batikanga, and this one, it's just... It's not for me. It's super citrusy and spicy. And when I say spicy, the kind of spice that this has is like a food, like really hot, spicy kind of food kind of spice. And it's just not my kind of thing. I do like spices in my fragrances, but not when it smells like hot food. This is a no for me. Next thing I wanna talk about is Tardes from Carna Barcelona. I recently ordered a sample of it and I really, really like it. It's a really soft, clean kind of almond fragrance. It's not a heavy, sweet almond fragrance. I love almond fragrances. I think it's such a beautiful note, but it is not an almond fragrance like either of these. Italica by Casa Marati. This is probably the sweetest fragrance I own, and it's almond. Velvet Tonga from BDK. It's also almond and tonka. I love both of these, but these are definitely sweeter, deeper, and just louder. After smelling the sample, it also went on my wish list and I found someone selling a bottle for a really good price. So I went for it and I'm so happy I did because this is gonna be such an easy daily reach for me. If I have to compare this to something, I actually don't have a fragrance that smells like it, but I do have a body oil. This is an almond body oil. They also have the almond shower body oil. It doesn't smell exactly like this, but it has a same kind of clean, soft almond fragrance to it. I actually think the whole L'Occitane almond range would pair so beautifully with this. This is just soft, a little bit powdery. It's almond. It smells like you took a shower and you put on a bunch of like almond body products and you just smell cozy and good. If you've tried any of these, let me know what you think. Scent is subjective and we all smell things differently, but I really do like hearing different perspectives on different fragrances because it just makes me think a little bit more.